Hi, my name is Dee Parker, and I teach for Dodds Europe here in Germany. I'm a language arts and reading teacher for 6th and 7th graders. Um, right now I'm taking a course through University of Wisconsin Stout, reading strategies for content areas K through 12, and we're trying different strategies, different activities to enhance reading comprehension. We're required to conduct field tests with our students with the new strategies to see how they work. So I'd like to share an activity on making inferences um, with cartoon cloud boxes. Um, the objectives are to teach the students to go above and beyond the literal meaning where they can use their prior knowledge, think, analyze, and personalize the text. So this is how I conducted the activity. They, my students already have an idea about what literal and um, inferential questions are. So we didn't have any problems with that. I told them that we were going to start a new activity, try something new. And I read them a read, read aloud, uh, the boy king, from our textbook. And just told them to listen carefully first. And they listened very attentively because the text was about a, a King Tut of Egypt, where he became the king at the age of nine, and he died at 17, and he had a short lifespan, he had to do a lot of things. So the text was very brief and very um, interesting for them. And then um, I told them that I was going to give them a worksheet that I created, and they were supposed to skim and scan the text real quickly and draw three more cartoon cloud boxes. This is how the cloud box looks like. I modeled by giving them an example of a cartoon cloud box that I created. Um, when I read the first sentence, which was, how would you like to wake up one morning and be told that you are the ruler of their country, I told them to put their, themselves in the, in the king's shoes and figure out what they would want to say or what they would think. So my example was, I would love to wake up one day and find out that I am a king or queen. The directions asked them to draw three more cartoon crowd boxes and make sure to refer their box to the text just like I did. And then I asked them to write their comments on the back. I asked them to write one thing they liked and one thing they disliked about the activity. We all went over the, after we went over the examples, I... The example I went, I walked around the classroom to see how they were doing. Most of them seemed to be doing really well. And um, and they had hilarious comments on some of the cartoon club boxes. Like one of them said, I don't want to be a king at the age of nine. One said, I'm the living image of the sun god. And afterwards, when I went through their papers, I found out that... Um, they actually found the activity very simple, but usually the way I conduct lessons, if I'm doing something for the first time, I'm sh I make sure that it's brief and simple. So the cons that they came up with is that the text was simple, there weren't even enough details, they would like to find out more about, the ki about King Tut, and the article didn't mention anything about the finding of the King Tut's tomb later and things like that. The pros were that they loved learning about King Tut in his life. They loved to draw the cloud bubbles, making inferences and putting themselves in others' shoes. So I think the activity proved pretty successful. And I really think that this could be used with uh, struggling readers, English language learners, uh, learners of English as a foreign language, and I would like to hear from you, your comments and your questions or anything else or suggestions about this activity. Thank you for listening.